Hello there and welcome to my channel Novice Modelling and the Midlife Crisis. My name's Andy and today I'm just going to do you a quick small haul unboxing of some models that I've got on eBay. So let's get this thing open and have a look at what I've got. Oh, I'm excited. There we go, box is empty, and I've got four little packages. Now, those of you that are kind of familiar with my channel might might, might remember that I have a bit of a an issue with a company called Ventura. Um, I've recently reviewed quite negatively a model that they produced in 1995. I'm going to uh, review another one today and I did actually build this one my mark 22 yesterday which the video for this has also been uploaded today so this is just a nice little sort of follow-on segment if you like to my Ventura journey if you like so what we've actually got are more Venturas we have here a Ventura Supermarine Spitfire mark 18 in the 170 second scale Nice little box, as we can see these are made in New Zealand and they're injection moulded. We also have another Ventura, Australian Spitfire Mark 8 this time, 172 scale again Ventura. This one's looking a little bit uh, shabby. And we have another one, Spitfire Mark 14E, again in the 170 second scale, injection moulded. Includes quality decals, crystal clear canopy, and metal accessory parts. And we have this one, which is a Testers Spitfire F22. Um, I'm not familiar with this, but I do actually know a little bit about this model and its genealogy, if you like, because it's actually a reboxing of a early model that I built the other day, which is this one, the Hawk Mark 22. And that goes quite together quite nicely. So I'm kind of assuming this one will as well. Now, this is just basically a little taster. I am actually going to do a um, what's in the box review for all these, but I just don't really want to overload you guys and bore the hell out of you with my sort of Spitfire obsession. <clears throat> like I previously mentioned, I did actually have a, a collection of 33 different 172 Spitfires. And what I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to build all these and learn different modeling techniques uh, next week, I think I'm going to actually go on to doing some painting, which I think really that's what a lot of people struggle with. The way I actually build these models at the moment is I just basically throw them together in about half an hour and stick a video on YouTube and see if anybody wants to be bothered watching it. Um, these Venturas, though, these, these take a hell of a lot more time, as I've actually realised yesterday. So I'm going to basically build these up. I've got a, another one to build, which is this uh, rather nice limited condition, limited production collector's kit. I'm gonna build this in a couple of weeks. I'm gonna give it probably about a day because that's really what you need to do with these. And I'm gonna have to give a day, I reckon, to these other three as well. So anyway, if you wanna have a look at my collection of 33 Spitfires, which is, well, it's just increased by four, obviously. Um, there's a link in the description below. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little video. Questions and suggestions are always welcome. I do kind of enjoy trying to respond to questions. Um, I'm not always that quick. I do actually have to go to work as well. Unfortunately, I am one of these people that works nights and I'm just about to start a run of four. So there won't be any building for a few days, but I will be back building a few models next week. Um, please like and subscribe and join me for my model building ride. Be seeing you.